Aquarius, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7 Day Tarot. Aquarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Aquarius, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you, Aquarius. First card. Eight of Swords, your angels and guides are telling you that there is some sort of block. This could be a money block, energy block, but there's some sort of resistance, limiting belief, shadow. We all go through them. There's something here, but resist persists. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you that they want this cleared first before new opportunities presented to you. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to clear this opportunity because I do see here with the hangman, there's some sort of limiting belief, some sort of hesitation or practice, uh, procrastination developed because of this energy block. Look at that. So you got the Eight of Swords eggman and the moon don't worry we're going to clear this for you right now and right now by clearing this energy you're going to free up a lot of energy lots of thermodynamics you have to move energy around and right now i have this trick that when you use it it's like wow it's like you never ever ever have to worry about fear controlling you because now you are the one who is in charge now look at this you got the strength card page of pentacles four pentacles temperance yes please queen of swords this is what happens like that once the energy is cleared you can expect a lot lot of significant changes to happen for you but here's the resistance portion five of swords seven of swords and you also have that three of wands so you've been waiting for something now uh aquarius i'm going to show you how to attract the wealth into your life by using this affirmation first and foremost. So right now, I want you to quantum entangle with the energy of money by writing this down in the comment section. I am attracting money right now. Yes, you are. Let the universe know you are ready to attract money into your life. Welcome this energy. Invite the energy of money into your life by writing this down in the comment section. I am attracting money right now. Command, assume, expect this energy. Affirmations really means effortless attention. Use the law of attraction write this down in the comment section i am attracting money right now write this down now your angels and guides are telling you that the moment you shift your focus right the moment you bring your awareness to where it belongs which is right now in the present moment they are waiting to gift you some sort of desire some sort of aha moment of clarity and some sort of download you're going to be able to get that oh my goodness this is such a great idea this is what i've been waiting for that energy right there they're reminding you that it is your birthright to be rich but it's also a choice so what you can't do is hold on to the familiar past or predictable future and expect change changes of abundance in the now. What do you have to do? Let go to receive. I'll give you an example. If I'm holding on to garbage, I have to let go to receive gold. And that's what's going on here. There is some sort of trauma a limiting belief, something happened that you accumulated data and now you're coming up with a predictable future. This is completely normal. We all go through this. This money block right here, this energy block right here, the moment you let it go, that's when things change. And I have a trick for you that works like a charm. I call it the wish factory. My goodness, if you want to attract anything into your life, whether it's money, wealth, or whether it's romance or health, this trick works immediately. You, don't all, you no longer have to wait for anything. Instead, you're gonna watch it manifest before your eyes. Now, I do see that there is something that you have been waiting for for quite some time, something that your inner child truly wants, some sort of happiness that will be unlocked, and something that you've been waiting for, not just necessarily in the time-wise, but also even in previous lives. So again, anything that you know we don't learn our lessons or get the ex experiences accumulated in this lifetime, it gets put on to the next lifetime. Therefore, a lot of different, sometimes even traumas gets carried over. And I see that there's a yearning, a wanting of something. Maybe you always wanted to be a multi-millionaire. Maybe you always want to find your soulmate. This energy has been carried forward and that's why there's that want or need. Want is lack. Lack does not carry the thought of abundance. So right now I'm going to help you clear this energy so you no longer feel like you want anything, but you have it. And when you have it, that's when you can release, let go, and actually let the universe do its job, which is gifting your desires. Now, this is definitely done. We're using the magician's powers of the mystical magic quantum, spiritual. This is the energy that spirit wants you to focus on. Don't worry about what you can see, focus on what you can't. Don't worry about holding stuff in your hand, focus on vibration, frequency, energy. What does this really mean? 
don't try to place your orders in the third dimension. Third dimension has something called time, which takes forever. Leave this third dimension, tap into the fourth, six, fourth fifth, sixth, seventh dimension, place your order there. That dimension will contact this third dimension, for example, trying to be silly here, but it's really like this. Fifth dimension will call the third dimension and say, hey, Aquarius is ready for that opportunity. Let us set it up. Then the third dimension will set up a series of events for you to get it done. So what does this really mean? I need you to command, assume, and expect your energy. That's why I'm like right down in the comment section, I attract money right now. I need you to quantum entangle with what you're looking for. I'm gonna explain something. You have your conscious mind and you have your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind thinks of an idea or has a feeling that is an impression. Then the subconscious mind expresses that impression, so gets it done. So the conscious mind says, I want to do this. The subconscious mind goes, great, this is how we're gonna do it. Now the subconscious mind does not tell the subconscious mind whether or not that's a good idea or not. The conscious mind, the trick is, and here's where that, where that technique comes in, I want you to treat the subconscious mind who gets it done as if it's a factory owner that creates magical wishes. Any wish you would like, the factory owner will create in its beautiful wish factory. Now you are the person Person, the conscious mind, for example, that's going up to the factory owner and saying, hey, I want this done. I want to be able to be an actress or I want to be able to, you know, create that business or get pregnant or, you know, do whatever it is you're looking for. Now, the subconscious mind goes, cool. Or the factory owner says, cool, I'll get it done. Now, here's the stipulation. The factory owner, for example, says, there's only two stipulations. The first one is I don't take emails, calls, or text messages. If you want to speak to me, you have to do it in the form of a thought or a feeling, and through telepathy, I'll know what you want. And the second thing is I want you to understand I don't have time to babysit the wishes, right? So if you want something, make sure you want it because I don't have time to tell you whether or not it's a good or bad idea. I just take orders. And you're like, cool, done. So the next time you're going down for a walk and you see someone on a yacht and you're like, I want that yacht, rather than be, tell yourself, oh, I don't have it, you're like, oh my goodness, yeah, I forgot the factory owner. He'll, they'll give me any wish I want. So then you visualize yourself on that yacht. You're like, oh yeah, here I am on that yacht. Mm, I feel it. Now the factory owner's like, oh, oh, got that incoming message. All right, let me go set up a series of events for uh, Aquarius to be able to meet people, to network, collaborate, and be able to cre accumulate the wealth in order to get the yacht. That's literally how it works. So again, replace the word factory owner for subconscious mind and the, and, the, and the conscious mind for you. So for example, to make it simple, imagine you're like, I want to go and get coffee. Conscious mind thinks that. Subconscious mind goes, okay, cool. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go put on our shoes. Then we're gonna go on our phone and type in best coffee near me. We're gonna read the reviews. Then we're gonna go drive down to the coffee shop and place our order. And then to make sure that, that, that they take our order correctly, we're gonna word it this way. Do you see how the subconscious mind set everything up? Every single thing you need to do, you're heading that direction. Then you may tell yourself, well, if that is the case, why am I not having manifestations come to fruition yet? Because you keep placing different orders. For example, you're telling the factory, owner, I want a yacht. Next thing you're saying, I don't think I can get it. Next thing you're saying, I think I can. Next thing you're saying, I don't know if it's going to happen. You see where I'm going with this. So the attack owner is like, oh, let me make it. Let me not make it. Let me make it. Let me not make it. It's just pulling levers back and forth. But when you control your thoughts, you control your feelings. When you control your feelings, you control your impressions. You control your impressions, you're controlling your expressions. You are changing your inner world and changing your outer world. And you know, when you change you know, when you change your energy, what happens is you change your destiny. I repeat this, when you change your energy, you change your destiny. All right, now, look at this. I love this message. Look at your spirit animal, brown bear spirit. First off, it's the time. The message is take time out. We'll get to that, but take a look at this bear. Isn't she the best? Oh my goodness, look at her feather. Oh, she's so fancy today. She's so beautiful today. I just want to give her two kisses. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you to take some time out. Taking time out, us empaths, we have to work on this, right? We're always people pleasing, making sure everyone's okay. But have you checked in with yourself? Have you asked yourself, am I okay? Am I getting enough sleep? Am I eating the right food? Am I getting enough exercise physically? Am I doing enough meditation? Am I doing enough journaling? Am I doing enough visualizing spiritually? Am I doing enough to make sure I honor my soul? Experiences, right? Ask yourself, check in with yourself, take some time out and reassess the situation. Already Aquarius, final message from your spirit guides. Look at this beautiful message, perfect setting. 
What a beautiful message indeed, and now beautiful card indeed. Now the message is, if you have a goal or vision, be sure to provide the right surroundings for that dream to flourish. Positive self-talk, affirmations, being kind to yourself, celebrating your talents and successes, all of these create fertile soil for your dreams to take root. So right now, by knowing what you want, that clear and concise image, and then writing it down, for example, right? That is one step. But also watering your garden, watching it grow. Remember, the factory owner. The factory owner will, will set up a series of events for you to get what you're looking for, but it is essential that you give the right order to that or to the to the owner so they can produce your manifestation for you. Alrighty, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.